1st, the speed limit is about to change on a lot of Knoxville side streets. This change has been a while in the making. Last year, City Council passed a resolution focusing on public safety. Reducing the speed limit in some places is part of that initiative. In our top story tonight, Six on Your Side's Kristen Gallat has more on the change that goes into effect tomorrow. This will mainly affect places like side streets in city neighborhoods that don't have traffic signs. Now, this is part of a bigger initiative called Vision Zero that hopes to eliminate traffic deaths in Knoxville. Starting July 1st, the speed limit will be decreased from 30 to 25 miles per hour on streets where a specific speed limit is not posted. Research shows that just dropping the speed limit 5 miles per hour saves lives. According to city leaders, one in five crashes involve a pedestrian or bicyclist. Speeding is definitely an issue. Brian O'Connor lives on a street that has a speed limit sign just a couple feet away from his front door. But he says he walks his dog on side streets and sometimes it can be unsafe. You routinely see cars coming through here, almost using the street as a pass through. He also worries about his neighbors who have small kids. I have a 16 year old and a six year old. How often do you guys, you know, come out to the front here playing? The Every day. <laughs> every day so we love the neighborhood there's like sidewalks people are walking we can walk our dog like we love being able to just be out here and see neighbors she says she likes the idea of decreasing the speed limit in her neighborhood she just hopes people follow the new rules and that kpd enforces it my child plays out here she's six uh, we can teach them road safety you know to a blue in the face but if people are just gonna like fly through and not be cautious then that is a concern i think for parents in neighborhoods like this Speeding fines begin at $111.50 and go up from there. According to city leaders, on average, 34 fatal crashes happen every year in the city of Knoxville. Reporting in Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. Hopefully that number goes down so. with these yeah. changes. Now, according to city leaders, more than 1,500 crashes in Knoxville have either resulted in death or serious injury between the years of 2016 and 2020. And again, I want to remind you this change is for the city of Knoxville. There's